Are you deciding between the 12.9 inch iPad versus the 11 inch iPad? Well, as an everyday normal user, I'm going to tell you my two cents of what I think between the two sizes and which one might be a better fit for you. Now, I, for the longest time, have been using the smaller iPad. This one right here is actually the iPad Air. So this is really close to the 11 inch. However, it's not quite 11 inch. It's actually a bit smaller. I believe it's 10.9 inch. This one here, if you could see, it fits very, very nicely in your hands. So I actually have quite small hands i am more on the petite side of the world and this is super light it is so friendly to like hold portable walk around with and yes it's very true if you are looking for a more portable device this one in the smaller size rather of an ipad pro or the ipad air this one will be great now however here's the surprising thing i actually fell in love with the 11 inch this is the uh sorry i fell in love with the 12.9 inch this is the 12.9 inch ipad pro from 2021 and you could see in comparison just side by side this is huge and this is yeah like not as comfortable to hold however i fell in love with this now this is my go-to daily ipad and i don't think i could go back <laughs> like i don't think i could go back like this is now my go-to which i was actually quite surprised that end up being the case i would actually fall in love with this i actually thought that i would i was gonna use it for a couple weeks and i will feel that i don't like it and that's it just return Turn it. However, I'm falling in love with it and I'm gonna keep it due to that reason. So let me tell you a couple of the reasons why I really love it. So one of my key purpose of why I wanted to get an iPad is to be productive. So I could actually feel like I'm getting a lot more done. And one of my selling points for an iPad in particular is that I actually really do love taking notes and I love to jot down my ideas. And whenever I need to think about a project, just being able to outline my ideas in a notepad is one of the greatest purpose for me so having a bigger space not only that of course like allow you to take better notes aside from that it is the fact that it has a bigger space it actually does make you want to continue to do whatever you're doing a lot more believe it or not when i'm using the smaller ipad and i'm trying to multitask and i'm trying to write like yeah it's fine like i could write on this no problem but i will use up the entire page and within the last six months that i'm using the ipad air i actually don't really remember remember myself ever using the split screen function or multitasking on the smaller iPad Air. That just doesn't really happen. But whenever I use the iPad Pro 12.9 inch, that's what I always do. I do three things at once. Usually, actually, I would watch a YouTube video on here. I would take notes, which I outline my ideas. And then I also look up whatever information that I need to look up. And sometimes, of course, I procrastinate, procrastinate, and I will browse through the internet and just shop and things like that. But that's that's what I like. That's what I like to do is being able to triple task or whatever I want to do. But at the same time, just being able to do it all in one device, which is great. And the fact that I'm able to actually do this and it helps set my mind into this productiveness is, is so worth it for me because it's true that whenever you're using a smaller device because it is so convenient it is so easy to just going on your social media and then just start like wasting your time consuming content that you know is not productive but whenever i am on here like even though i am also consuming content that is not as productive like i'm also doing other things like i'm taking notes on things i'm outlining ideas i'm looking up things and then still able to hear in the background because that's actually one of my favorite things just like listen to background music or just have youtube on so it's great it actually helps put me in a more productive mode which just the psychology of it is completely worth it another reason that i really like the ipad is when i sleep at night i actually have this standing like i have this little stand that i got from ikea even though it is full of smaller size, it still works fine. So I could actually write on this, perfect. And then the back here, you could actually stand your iPad to be taller so it actually sits like this so actually i just put this on my bed and i would just sleep like that at night and just watch 
YouTube until I fall asleep. And it's actually much better that way because when it comes to my old laptop that I use to watch YouTube on, it heats up so much <laughs> when I'm trying to watch. But here, it doesn't actually heat up that bad. So <laughs> it's like great if you also just want to like put on something next to you. And it's great because it doesn't take up that much space when you're laying there. And another thing that I really like about using the iPad is that because when I'm on the iPad, I'm already doing multiple things that I love to do like watching YouTube, browsing on the internet, like shopping while doing something productive like taking notes or outlining my ideas. Another thing it's great for in my opinion is that it also stopped me from using my phone as often. I used to be always on my phone. If I'm not on my laptop then I'm on my phone but being on the iPad now actually helps me put the phone down because I'm already doing things that I want to do to relax my brain while at the same time being productive so I actually don't need to use my phone that much so it's actually really great to like be able to just not worry about my phone and also another beauty about the iPad is just being able to drag and drop things to one app to another for example if you're using your notes app so for me I'm using good notes right now and whenever you have an image that you like online and you want to take note of that in your notepad you're able to just look up that image on the split screen and then actually just select the image and just drag it onto the notepad that way now this is also great if you're a creator and you want to be able to draw different images and put it together you're also able to do that in procreate you're also able to hit a certain palette of colors that you really like and then drag it over as well like just this drag and drop motion within the ipad is just so helpful because especially you have a pen you're able to actually just like select it and drag it to me it's actually more seamless than what you could do with drag and drop on the laptop so i really love that in just the other day i was doing research on uh, Premiere Pro just learning more about editing and I was trying to take notes of the stuff that I've learned and whenever I like something or there's a video tutorial that talks about what I was trying to learn and remember I will actually just quickly take a screenshot from the iPad of the video segment that is talking about how to solve a problem or a learning that I'm interested in I'll just take a screenshot of that and then I was able to save it in the iPad right away and then pull that in to a Google Drive and then have that converted in my Google Notes doc really quickly. It's very seamless and I try actually doing that same entire process on my laptop. It's actually easier on the iPad, believe it or not. So things like that I think really helps productivity because that for sure I am multitasking. I'm taking notes on one hand on the things that I've learned right in a Google Doc and at the same time I'm watching a video like YouTube on the other screen and at the same time whenever I like what I'm learning and I want to be able to remember it, I take a recording just right then and there do the screen recording on the iPad which in my opinion is actually even easier than QuickTime on your laptop once you have recorded it you could crop right you could edit whatever way that you need right away and also a lot easier to edit and cropping and do minor editing on an iPad than you could on a laptop and then just drag and drop like this is the beauty of the iPad and I'm so glad that you're were able to multitask that way on the iPad and do all of these things while being entertained which is one of my favorite favorite thing and speaking of video editing that's another thing I really like is that if you are just trying to do very simple editing like different clips cuts and things like that on the iPad I think it's actually a lot easier to sometimes just use your hands and be able to do all of that than having to do it in a laptop of course if you're doing something that's heavy duty then of course you do want to use uh, Adobe Premiere Pro or Final Cut on your laptop and another thing that I really like about the iPad is that it is different than being on a laptop and I know it's like duh but it actually does help a lot because I work a lot Monday to Friday on my job and I use my laptop all the time and sometimes when I'm not working I like to feel detached I like to feel like I'm not working so whenever I am on my laptop again trying to be productive but even for my personal project being on the laptop just feels like I am still working in general so being able to just switch from being on on my iPad when I am working on my own personal project instead of on my laptop actually does give you a nice mind shift. I'm doing something fun even though I'm trying to still productive but it's my own thing and it's really good to just change the environment so if you're so used to being on your laptop but you prefer like a change of scenery the iPad is definitely a great 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 route to go. Another thing that I also use the iPad for is as a whiteboard when I am at work as well so there are times where I plug in connect the 
it through the USB-C and through that I share my screen I'm actually able to show my colleagues when I share my screen exactly what I'm trying to communicate so similar to a whiteboard if we were to be in person uh, and not in work from home anymore I will actually do that I will just draw here's what I'm saying you know so that they could actually see what I mean and they could comprehend what I'm saying even better so that's another good use of the iPad and another thing that I really like about the iPad is just how easy it is to consume information especially on the 12.9 inch in particular you talk you hear me talk about multitasking it's related to that where the sizing of it is just perfect when you're looking at the screen sometimes if you're using the smaller iPad honestly when you're multitasking is still very difficult to when you have a split screen open I think the sizing on the 12.9 inch even for the split screen is perfect because the width and the length of it is still just so easy to read and another thing about note taking that I really love is that once you start writing you just have so much space that you don't have to pinch in to write and I actually really like that like I mean of course you can still do it if you want to but it's not necessary because you just have so much space to write so those are the couple of things that I really love the iPad for and then some and then some of that is why I was sold into the 12.9 inch it's just mainly multitasking you're a huge multitasker oh my god 12.9 is the way to go if you are trying to be more productive on your iPad instead of using it as an entertainment device, oh my god, 12.9 is gonna help put you in a more productive mindset. And of course, overall, if you are a huge note taker and you love taking a bunch of notes, especially if you're an artist and you draw a lot, 12.9 inch is the way to go. It just makes you feel like the world is your oyster, like you could do so much <laughs> and more so. So I hope this is helpful for you to decide. I'm sure there's a lot more reasons, but I'm just sharing it from a more everyday user perspective. So I hope this is helpful.